Challenge to the hyenas. Because uh, they will definitely be shouting for uh, the majority of today. Yeah. Depending on how often Nightmare is on stream. Exactly. Or however long the melee games go on. Yeah. Um, I do believe they are finished the collegiate, so. I, yeah, I think they're done um, the melee games. Yeah. But uh, let's take a look in Krim. Looks like starting off on. T okay. Strike to Smashville. Are we going to see a strike to Smashville? This is like kind of one of the sillier things where you're like, nah, I don't want to just go to Smashville. And then you oh. end up there anyway. Potential switch. Okay, I think just a controller reset. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Got to make sure everything's uh, nice and crispy. Mm -hmm, for sure. Are you ready? Uh, I know, like, sometimes if you if like something's slightly off, then it can throw off your concentration. And uh, I don't know, Chris uh, is working on his mentality, trying to like not get shook. He's also he's usually like one of those players that's like always clutch and can make some amazing things happen, but uh, it has some strain on your brain. Yeah. So. See if that comes into play against Let's Tickle. Uh, or if Krim is too ticklish. I have uh, a 30% lead here for um, for uh, Krim here. Yeah, he's um, playing safe. He's staying away from Diddy, and I think that is how you want to play it. You don't want to just be rushing into a Diddy, because then you'll get anti-air, you get faired, you get uh, down-tilted. Uh, and he's trying to space, around, space around him uh, pretty well. Yeah. Okay, that's some platform pressure. Ooh, good yeah. conversion. And uh, doesn't follow up off of that one. Probably mm -hmm. didn't have enough time, but... Yeah. Uh, also, just respecting Diddy Kong, because I mean, that side B can catch you off guard. So mm -hmm. he was uh, spacing out outside that range, seeing if Krim's going to go for that stuff. Mm -hmm. And we got a pretty even game. Definitely looking for a way in here, but um, it's not really finding it yet. Yeah, like, with Corrin, uh the punishes aren't always super, super hard. Like, unless you land, you uh, get in with, like, a rising forward air or... Uh, yeah. Then it's kind of tough to convert into, like, those hard hits. Other otherwise, you're getting, like, one-two combos or they run into, like, a pin or something. Yeah. Scrim taking that first stock with uh, with an up tilt. Uh, definitely uh, somewhat, oh, bit of a missed input there. Probably wanted to be reverse or something. Mm. Okay, there's the down throw. Yep. So that's the banana, and Let's Tickle responds by um, hitting it with the back air. Incredibly large, massive, and uh, incredibly safe back air that Korn has. Oh, yeah. It, like, it's especially safe because there's, like, you get pushed Hit further away. Yeah, so it's like, eh, I'll just throw this out. Mm -hmm. Um, also, I noticed he's not really using... Oh, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, good stuff. Let's Tickle tying it up. Uh, and stocks a little bit down in percent. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, Let's Tickle, uh, I find he's not really opting to use the banana for himself. He's more of, um, staying around it and waiting for opportunities to, like, use a pin or something when, uh, Krim goes for it. Yeah. And uh, using this pin as like an extra option to just be around the banana, mm -hmm. and uh, it's paying off because he's getting lots of damage here on Chris. <laughs> yeah. That banana pull to or smash. Chris uh, getting some momentum here on his own, but down tilt up air. Had a pretty even game. Can Let's Tickle do this? Oh. Yeah, that's a, that's Ooh. a banana mind game. That's let's tickle trying not to go in against that banana. And it's not gonna quite take it. Okay, and oh, and yeah, they're both playing around this banana. Let's tickle does not want to get caught by these confirms, and uh, Chris Ooh. knows it. There we go. Banana down tilt up smash. Mm -hmm. The classic. Yeah. Chris uh, keeping it together, pulling it out, 
And uh, but it's a, again good showing from Let's Tickle. Not not letting himself get shook either. Uh, he's playing like one of the best in Toronto, so it's definitely good for that experience. And mm -hmm. it, he's carrying himself well. So going right back to Smashville for this game too. And uh, yeah, Chris. It going a little more aggro this game, just getting in, down tilts, up it, uh, forward airs, and side Bs. <laughs> Let's Tickle's getting caught by all of this. Uh, yeah, maybe Chris figured out um, what to do here. Yeah, I think uh, he was letting Let's Tickle play more of his game last round with the, just like the spacing and uh, uh, like Corrin definitely have a, has a sword, so Forder not always going to outspace everything like you expect Diddy to do. Mm -hmm. So he's opting to go for that more aggro style, just shield pressure, going in with bananas, and it's working out. Yep. Taking over a 50% lead here. Okay, but that uh, quick Corrin there, going to convert. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a combo breaking move and a combo starting move. You can get like a quick... Ooh, Nair no. into like an up air. Di too good. Yeah, coins Nair is definitely something you need to watch out for. It's also incredibly massive. Yeah, and it stays out for a long time. Doesn't have a whole lot of ending lag. So yeah, <laughs> definitely a very very good move. Uh, ooh, ooh. Falls into that banana. Yeah, he's not able to get much out of it though. Yeah, but it looks like Let's Tickle knows that oh. ooh, barely stays out of that. Uh, like, like that's his approach to the match. Is just like waiting his uh, for his opportunities oh, for when Chris has his banana. Four throws. Oh, gonna four kill. throws gonna take it. Yeah. One seventy. I'm not surprised. And there. Not sure about that option there. I feel like um, that's a cool could have definitely done more uh, than just the weak forward smash. Yeah. Didn't even use the active hitbox. Not sure if Chris, if Krim was in it though. Yeah, sometimes the spacing is a little hard to read. You just have to make a quick decision. Yeah. Okay, tries for, for some uh, ledge pressure, but Chris gets out of it. Yeah. Chases with these side Bs. It's an up air afterwards. And uh, this monkey is swinging around now. Oh. Yeah, gets the um, gets the uh, stun, the dragon shot, uh, dragon fang shot, or dragon charge shot, or whatever. Uh, stun into the uh, full charge bite. Yeah, and uh, that is a very, very strong move. Mm -hmm. So, you can definitely get caught by that. And oh! Nice. Banana it's to down air. Z-drop banana to... Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's always a good... That's always a nice uh, a nice combo to see. Yeah, I believe that catches, like, the get-up attack, the regular get-up, jump from the ledge. I think he did jump from the ledge, so... Yeah, that's what it looked like, I think. Yeah, it covers a lot of options, and it can be really scary to roll against uh, Diddy Kong, so. Mm -hmm, for sure. That's a, that's, that's one of those pro setups for the pro 